Escape from Clin will be going live this week, and I have been given early access to it on the test server. So I'm going to show you some gameplay. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to tell you what you need to know about escape from cleanse so let's get right into this now we are on the test server so of course all of this footage is subject to change however i've been told it probably won't so what i'm going to say here should work now to explain this it's a little different from the towers that we fought before first off you only get to take three characters into every floor there's no cooldown period so more like a scourge or a trial you can play this as many times as you want in a row. It's not going to stop you. You can keep redoing it. However, you might not want to. We're going to get into that. Uh, characters' health and abilities persist between battles. So if they get hurt, uh, they're going to stay hurt. If you use their ultimates, they're going to need to charge them back up. Or if you want to charge them up, they will keep those abilities charged. Uh, characters cannot be healed between battles. Enemy health and ability energy in each cell persists between battles so you can sack them you can hit them multiple times it is more like a scourge or a trial than it is like a tower and then uh, if you complete all the floors you get all the rewards i know people are going to want to know about rewards now i've already completed 18 floors i'm on the 19th floor and the first 18 floors rewards aren't that great at all um, if you're a veteran player, you're really not getting anything here. It's a lot of training materials, which is nice, but it's mostly just gambit shards. If you are a veteran player, um, you are going to want to get, um, at least up to floor 28. Things start getting a little better around floor 28 as far as rewards go. Uh, however, the real rewards start at floor number 34. If you can beat floor number 34, you get 100 points per floor. That's when you get a diamond on Gambit. If you keep going, you can get two diamonds on Gambit on, on floor 37. And then if you can beat floor 40, you get three diamonds on Gambit and 5 million gold as well as some tier 18 mutant gear. So yeah, the rewards are pretty good. It's going to be worth it to figure this out. Now, let me recap floors 1 through 18 for you because they were extremely dull. Um, for me, with a veteran account, this was very, very easy to do. It wasn't a big deal at all. And this is how the floors break down, reading from top to bottom. So floors 1 through 4, there's no restrictions. So what are we going to do here? You're going to charge up your villain bio because you're going to see here down at the bottom... That's all you can use on the last few floors are villain bio. So you're going to want to charge up, you know, your super scroll uh, if you got them, which if you don't got them, then you're not going to beat this ta this tower. That's just as simple as that's going to be. It's impossible to do without super scroll. He's villain bio. He's the number one villain bio. If you don't got him, kiss floors uh, 38 through 40. Goodbye. Uh, you can charge up, you know, like your Titania. Uh, you can charge up any villain bio characters. Another thing you're going to want to do here on the opening cells, and I'll probably have a full playthrough of this when it finally goes live on the server, but I want to give you this brief snapshot so you can prepare for it, right? You're going to want to charge up Red Hulk. He's going to be big on those legendary sections. If you can just bust out with his ultimate right away, it's always going to help you. It's always been a good idea to do. And then charge any other legendary characters that you have. Now, as far as which characters I use to beat these floors for the Guardian or Infinity Watch section, I just use Gamora, Nebula, and Adam Warlock. Now, if your characters are big enough, man, I'm telling you, this is going to be no challenge. In fact, my note to the developers was, you guys should really put in a sim function because if I have to redo this tower, and this is what I was talking about earlier, I wouldn't want to play this again. It was boring. It took like an hour I, it was ridiculous. Like these fights, you're so overpowered from floors 1 to 19. Finally, on floor 19, we got some gameplay. So that's what I'm going to show you when it comes to the gameplay portion of this video. And maybe my opinion will change on this being dull. But I was like, man, hats off to the dev who made this because he somehow took something that was fun like Tower and made it a boring slog. So I don't know. That was floor 1 through 18, though. Haven't done floor 19, so I don't want to be too negative just yet. All right. For the Avenger section, um, I use New Avengers. Easy. Man, New Avengers sailed right through it. Through, for global skill, 
I used um, basically Invaders, Captain America, World War II. Do it, City Mystic, Cloak, Dagger, Ghost Rider. Do I need to say any more? For Asgardians, that's where I'm at right now. All right, so let's get into this. Let's get into the actual gameplay. But you can know that the first 18 floors are cake. Um, as long as you've been playing this game for a bit and you've been following, you know, my uh, safe to build guide or whatever, uh, you're going to cruise right through this. You've got the characters you need built up. You're going to be good to go. All right. But this Asgardian section is a little tricky here. We have a Dormammu. A Mordo, a Death Pool, a Silver Surfer opens this up, and then Eternals drop down. So this is pretty serious. I might have to use multiple characters to get through this, um, although I don't really have to worry about using my Asgardians anywhere else. So if I burn them out here, it's not going to be a big deal. If I make a mistake, I can restart the run and I can redo the whole thing. So it's not a disaster. It's not that's the one thing I like better than the tower is if I mess up here, it's okay. Like I literally messed up. Um, I used a team that did not work out. I used this team right here. It didn't work out. I just quit. And I could and if I would have messed up, if I would have let them die and I couldn't clear it, then I could start over and try again with no penalties. Uh, I don't know how many days it's gonna run for when it runs initially. But um, it's, it's definitely a very forgiving game mode. It's more like a scourge or a trial. All right, so I'm going to start this off, and I'm going to kind of sack this. Or we're going to see how far we get. I'm going to use, like, the three best Asgardians, and then I'm going to come in with newer characters to clean it up. I think that's the safest way to go. Like, I could try to clean with this. I could send in the big characters and then send in this this squad. But I think what I want to do is burn some abilities, um, do some damage to Dormammu so that he can no longer revive characters, right? We're going to try to be a little more strategic this time. I went in kind of all Leroy Jenkins the first time. And I almost beat it. It didn't go that bad, but it wasn't that good. I want to try to get rid of Cersei. Right? I want to do some damage to Dormammu. I want to do some damage to Cersei. And I don't want to let Icarus and Cersei occupy the board at the same time. My Thor is passively putting a lot of damage right there on Mordo. So that is great. Let's go ahead and come right through here. We killed Mordo once. Like, I'm happy with this. We could stop right here. Um... We can stun somebody. I want to stun Dormammu. I don't want Dormammu to do his ultimate. That would be bad because I don't want him to heal everybody. I want to leave this node uh, wounded. I definitely want to leave it bruised up. I don't want them to fully heal on me. Oh, I don't know if I can stun. I, you know what? I don't know every kit like the back of my hand. I should have stunned Cersei instead. And here comes the ultimate from Dormammu. You know what? I'll, I'll burn that that ultimate now he doesn't have the ultimate i don't have them damaged i don't know that might have been stupid i but you know what we burned some stuff we got rid of the mordo i'm fine with it we uh we got rid of the ultimate from cersei we got rid of the ultimate from dormammu i got plenty of characters to come in here so i don't know why it, it's killed icarus i don't know what that's about that's probably a glitch uh, who knows, guys? Hey, test server, right? Subject to change. Okay, what am I going to come in here with now? I feel like Hela is good. The combination of Hela Loki is pretty solid. Hela Loki Sylvie. I know Sylvie has some synergies with Loki. And then I've got like Vol and Loki Teen, like Beta Ray Bill. Like I've got some heavy hitters left. So I can do this. I, I'm going to clean this up with Vol. Like Vol is going to take it. Vol is OP. So I'm kind of relying upon Vol to finish this thing off. It's interesting only being able to use three characters. And I'm telling you, this is the most gameplay I've gotten out of this tower. Everything else was just like basic. All right. Who is going down? Unfortunately, um, I do have a revive once on, on uh, Cersei. I want to get rid of her before Icarus drops. I also want to get rid of Dormammu, though. I know if I don't get rid of Dormammu, he's going to cause problems. I'm just going to go after Dormammu. 
Um, I'm going to stun Cersei this time because I'm more intelligent now than I was previously. Uh, I was pretty stupid. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, do I want to hit the ultimate from... No, I want to kill Deathpool permanently with the basic there. Now she doesn't get the revive. And I dropped Icarus, which is like what I didn't want to do. I don't know why I summoned Loki for, <laughs> for Icarus to kill. Maybe I'm super stupid. But, you know, really, I just want to put... All right, good. We got rid of Dormammu. There's no more Dormammu. We're going to ultimate with Hela. We've done damage to Cersei and Icarus. You know what? He could get he could get the kills right here, and I'm fine. All right, without Dormammu around, we might even clear this. We're gonna eat the ultimate from Silver Surfer. It's like, well, how you know how much do we need to overthink this? Vol is easily gonna clean what's left of this up. I'm gonna try to kill Cersei. She's got revive on her though. That might not be the smartest thing. I'm just gonna try to get some damage on her, so that when I come in here. Uh, Cersei and Icarus don't get to refill their health and they won't get the, um, oh, okay. looks like, okay. Icarus is dead. All right. Perfect. Yeah. Vol's got this. Vol on their own can take care of what's left here. If it's, especially if it's just like a lone silver surfer, for God's sake. All right, so nothing too challenging here. The Asgardian section might require, it's it's definitely required more effort than anything else. I full killed uh, Cersei. I might not even need to bring in Vol. Really, honestly, with the power creep, Sylvie here might be better than Silver Surfer 1v1. Same with Hela. Wow, power creep for the win. <laughs> All right, I didn't even need to use Vol. I didn't even need to touch fall. So there it was. Um, yeah, that was the hardest thing I've faced yet. And ultimately, it wasn't that hard. I will say that was fun. That was some interesting gameplay that I haven't, uh, you know, encountered. So that's pretty cool. All right. Now we're on to cell 20 and they go in chunks of three. And so the hardest one is going to be cell 22 and they kind of ramp up. You can kind of see the power here is 750. Then it goes up to like almost 900K and then it goes up to 1.3 million. So it kind of ramps up as you go. Let's go ahead and uh, take on cell 20 and see what we can do. Oh my God, this is OP. Yo. <laughs> spider verse tech or spider verse skill is stacked. So I'm probably going to use Dr. Octopus because he's got sustain, green goblin, black cat. I can't lose with this, can I? Like, they're not even going to get hurt. I'm just going to go with that. There's there's no way we're not going to be okay. I'm just, I want to save their abilities for the last node. But, uh, man, that is OP. Green Goblin, Black Cat. Jeez. Yeah, I can't see this being a problem. We'll see. I mean, maybe the comp maybe the composition is there to make it interesting. And I charged up Black Cat on one of the first nodes. That's why I have her ultimate available. I'm just really not worried about this. And the power levels are so low. Oh, Green Goblin can just basic right through that. I didn't kill everybody. I thought he would just kill everybody with one basic. But Shocker is going to be like crazy OP. I'm going to go ahead and drop the Shocker. It's a pretty low cooldown, and it's nice to have four characters on the board and all that offense up. And then oh, Green Goblin's, like, passively killing them. He doesn't even need to take a turn. Plus, I want to get the healing so that everybody comes out of here healthy, although they're not hurting me at all. Like, they're so weak, they can't even do damage to my characters. So that's kind of crazy. And that was it. They just died. They killed themselves on my team. My team just stood there while they literally murdered themselves. All right, yeah, this is this is kind of the gameplay that I was experiencing in the first 18 floors where I was like, well, just let me sim it if it's going to be this basic. But that last floor is difficult. If you tried to sim that last floor, you, you might have burned out all your teams. All right, this one has like a spider weaver and stuff. Like the next one has like a dark hold. All right, which is good. Like, um, you know, Green Goblin is really good against this stuff. 
I might want to move into Mysterio here. I don't know. Let's just give it a go. See what happens. I might use some of my ultimates here to get through this. It looks a little trickier. We'll see how the game play is. At least I'm using my brain a little more at this point. It feels like there's more of a challenge when you get halfway up. And that's where we're at. We're halfway now. So we're halfway up the tower. The first half, super, super basic, which is probably good for super new accounts. All right. Who do I want to take out? I want to start with Cloak. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the special from Black Cat just to make sure that I don't get destroyed by, you know, a bunch of blinds. Now I don't have to worry at all about this. I can just basic that. And now we do have a spider weaver. But I'm not too worried about this spider weaver. In fact, I'm just going to basic the spider weaver with black cat. I think that's honestly enough. I will special the spider weaver just to make sure that she dies. And now all I have is a Gwenpool. And like a Spider-Man 2099 that don't seem to be able to do damage to my team. So I've got nothing to worry about. We can just charge up for the next node. This is, this is done. This is done. This is easy. Oh my God. All right. So guys, anyone thinking that this was going to be like a source of gameplay or something? S sorely mistaken. I don't know. It makes me miss Tower, quite honestly. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know who developed this or why or what this is for. You're asking me down in the comments, uh, how often is this going to run? I don't know. Does this replace Tower? I don't know. I don't know what they're doing with this. All right. Now I've got Darkhold Plus over here. Darkhold and Dark Hunters combined for reasons. I, was there any thought process behind this? I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know what's happening. Um, I, don't, I, I feel like maybe Mysterio is good to drop in here. You got to have gear tier 15. So, you know, that, that there's something there. I, I, I don't know. I'm just going to stick with this team because they're overpowered. Bunch of, I mean, okay. So I've got a couple of legendary characters I could use later on. Maybe I don't want to burn up Black Cat and Green Goblin here. There, there's, a, there's a case for that. You might want to stick with Sinister Six characters here and not. I mean, as long as Black Cat and Green Goblin come out of this healthy, I'm fine with this. There is a legendary section later on I might want to use them for. But they're also really good against this. All right, I'm just going to go after Morgan Le Fay with the ultimate from Black Cat. And then, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and hit the ultimate from Green Goblin. I really don't want to deal with the Morgan Le Fay. I don't want to deal with the rest of Darkhold dropping down. Now we've nerfed him out because we've already gotten rid of the Morgan Le Fay. And we can pretty much just start charging up now for the legendary nodes. Like, I don't, I'm not really worried about this now without that. With, it, with the Morgan Le Fay gone, I'm just really not worried. I think we're going to be absolutely fine. Uh, I got Black Cat coming in here. Let's start killing Wong. I don't want to get stuck behind his taunt, and I won't do that if he's dead. They did kill my Shocker. That's kind of a bummer. I'm going to go ahead and special into Agatha because she has Safeguard, and I know that that's going to give uh, some extra effects to that. Do I want to ultimate here? I do want to ultimate with Dr. Octopus. It's just a good time for it. It just got rid of everything nicely. And I'm going to save the Black Cat um, special for the Legendary Nodes. If I want to use Black Cat there, I'm definitely going to want that. And Green Goblin did take a hit here. He's going to have to really charge back up if I'm going to use him. It looks like Black Cat's in a much better spot than Green Goblin. But uh, I don't know. There it is. We'll see if I regret the Green Goblin thing. If it turns out I regret the Green Goblin decision when it comes to legendary nodes, then I'm just going to have to replay the whole tower and use something different here. Which is why they should put in a sim feature. But we don't have it. All right. Now we're on to Global Mystic. And now keep in mind, you are starting to hit gear tier requirements here. So now I have to have gear tier 15. That's literally going to gate out players which is uh, a hell of a choice. So Global Mystic, uh, yeah, man, Darkhold. Just use Darkhold, right? Darkhold Quicksilver? Darkhold Wong? Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I kind of feel like I should just use... Darkhold's a really good three-piece, no matter which way you slice it. I mean, Spider Weaver in there is good. But uh, Wong is... I think I can probably just use this. I bet this goes all the way through it. I can't imagine that it doesn't. This is the best three piece you can make, but I mean, you have we have you have such other good choices too. Spider Weaver, Quicksilver, you are just spoiled for choice. Now you might want to watch out with uh, Morgan Le Fay once again. We do have that legendary section coming up. You might want to use Morgan Le Fay on that, so just keep that in mind. But this is gonna be really the first no is just gonna die a horrible death. Yeah, this is ridiculous. So easy. So we're going to keep our abilities for the last node once again, knowing that the first two floors of the section are going to be the easiest floors. I'm not going to ultimate a whole bunch unless they have low cooldowns because like these characters can't even damage my characters at this level. Um, all right, there. <laughs> Mockingbird just disintegrated. All right, let's get rid of... I can't... Why, why is there a yo-yo here? What is yo-yo doing? What is the point of that yo-yo? Like, is there any intelligent thought behind this game mode is what I want to know. Is there is there anything, any thought process? Did they pick these characters because they're good against the characters that you can pick? Like, I just, there doesn't seem to be any attempt here to make this an interesting gameplay experience. This is very lackluster. Like, how long did you bake this for before you unleashed it upon the Marvel Strike Force community? It's a good question, right, guys? Do they care at all? I don't know. I don't know. All right. Um, <clears throat> I'm wondering if it even makes sense to show you this gameplay or just show you, like, the, the boss floors or the third section, right? Like, how much of this? It's not even interesting to show this to people. All right, let's go ahead and do this one. All right, you know, I do have Eternals here. Uh, well, we shut down Eternals with Darkhold, so Darkhold's the right choice. All right, let's go. It's still it's still just this team, except now I might use, like, the Agatha Ultimate. I don't know about this game mode, guys. This seems really undercooked. I mean, maybe if they make another version of it, they can learn from their mistakes or take some community feedback and do better with it. It's just right now, it's like so blah, so boring. Maybe I should use the special there. I guess I could have used the special there. It doesn't matter. That Icarus doesn't do anything to me. Like, do I even need to care? All right, I will hit the ultimate here with Agatha because that's going to shut down the Eternals, which is great. You, you want to do that. I could have sent a sack team in here to weaken up the Eternals, but there's probably no need to even do that because they're so damn weak. But if you if you didn't have as strong of an Eternals, then yeah, you could come in here and hit this with the sack team, eat the ultimate from Icarus, do some damage to them, make your life easier. But uh, it looks like I can just murder them straight up. I took the ultimate from Nova and it didn't even hurt me. The difficulty on this is really low. And I know that's probably going to change on the final floors. Like, maybe the final floors are going to be, you know, really something to write home about. But this is not. All right, I'm going to have a nowhere to deal with here soon. But, like, a nowhere that doesn't have any power whatsoever. I guess I'll try to get rid of Nova. I don't know. They're just not doing any damage to me, so there's, like, no stakes here. There's no reason to even care about what happens. All right, we're starting to take a little damage now. All right, we're taking a little damage now. Um, let's stun uh, Nova. Yeah, I think that was a good move. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? This isn't going the best. I might want to come back in here with a different team. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to special with Wong. I'm going to save that ultimate still. I don't know. Maybe I should have used the ultimate. I'm hoping to do some healing before this is over. I don't know. I might want to redo this floor. I don't necessarily love the way this is going. Just keeping in mind what the other floors are going to be doing. We're not doing a lot of damage here. 
I might need some more DPS. I might need to use that Quicksilver. I got that set. All right. Yeah, Wong's taking damage. I don't love this. I don't love this at all. All right. So all you have to do if, if a note isn't going well is you can quit and then you can try it again. So I really like that. Um, I don't think I would need to redo the tower at this point. Unless I needed to change somebody up. I'm going to get rid of Wong. And let's let's see. Do I want Quicksilver or Spider? I think I want Quicksilver in here. I want to leave Agatha and Morgan Le Fay. I think that's important uh, to shut down those Eternals. Let's go with that. You can charge up Doom on an earlier node, and you can you can pull a Doom trick here, which isn't a bad idea. Just come right in with the Doom Ultimate. Solid. Solid. That's going to help out a lot. All right, let's see. I'm going to do the rewind this time. We're going to go ahead and just start off with the rewind. That way we do not take that opening barrage. Ah, Quicksilver can remove the charges from Nova, right? Yes, that's fun. And then he can just delete Korg. And now we can hit the Morgan Le Fay ultimate on uh, the second wave. That comes in. That's really nice. And then we can do the Agatha ultimate into the Eternals before their turn. This is going much better. Yeah, this is going much, much better. So, yeah, this is a better team up. Um, who do I want to take out? Let's take out Cosmo because he's about to go. And that seven red Quicksilver is just so brutal. This is the most, this is why I built a seven red Quicksilver was for stuff like this for like no other reason because you don't need it for anything else. But for stuff like this, having a seven red Quicksilver is pretty awesome. All right, Icarus hit me with his ultimate, but I really didn't care. It kind of tickled. It, it kind of felt funny. And then Quicksilver is just going to rip them up and then we're going to come out of here at full health. So no problems, man. Just use your seven red Quicksilver. Now, I can't say that that node was easy because I literally had to bust out a seven red Quicksilver on it, which not everybody has like gear tier 18. So I think at this point, if you're not a veteran player, you, you've probably already tapped out of this tower and you've gotten like crap rewards for it. So it's been like a waste of your time, basically. So the tower is either a waste of your time or a mindless chore. <laughs> That's my first impressions. I'm going to keep this team because it was fun. And we have a Gamma that we're going up against. But I'm not too worried about it. We'll see. We'll see if I need to be worried about it. Um, definitely leaned on my Quicksilver here. I'm making a note when I go do this on my own account. So we got a Red Hulk. You know, that's, that's a problem. Anytime you got a Red Hulk. I'm going to use the ultimate from Quicksilver. I may as well. That was brutal. And then I'm going to try to kill Braun because I don't want to deal with him. All right, good. He's dead. I just want to be careful with the Red Hulk. I'm going to stun him right here. Oh, my God. He's just died. He just crumbled. And now we have a Kang. All right, Kang can be a problem, but, you know, not if he's dead. So a dead Kang really isn't a very scary Kang at all. So there he is. He's dead. I think this is the last time I can use Quicksilver. So I'll just go ahead and uh, burn his... Just, just delete. <laughs> just absolutely delete She-Hulk. Now, I might want to use um, Morgan Le Fay on the Legendary section, so I'm going to save her abilities. But I don't have to worry about Agatha, so I'm going to go ahead and blow the ultimate. And now we just have a, a Green Hulk. Man, this node was... Ah, just Quicksilver just destroys this section, so... There you go. If you invested in Quicksilver, you're going to have an easy time on those floors. That's all there is to it, boys. All right. That brings us to the villain mutant section, which I believe is just going to be run by Apocalypse. I mean, that this is just just Apocalypse all the way. We've got we've got some extreme X-Men in here, though. We got some new characters, but we also have Apocalypse. And we can use Archangel with them and Nemesis. I mean, you know what? You want Dark Beast in there. That way you're getting the assists. Oh, God. All right. Yeah, this isn't going to be challenging. 
And uh, I've got the one diamond on Apocalypse nonetheless, so I can't say anything about this anymore. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, I think most players are just going to get locked out of this tower and not even be... It's like... I th it feels like... This is better than events. All right, I'm going to say this. If they replace events with this, it would basically be the same thing that we have now where only veteran accounts really get to get in here and get these high rewards anyways, except now you get gameplay instead of, you know, mindless milestone grinding, which I guess is good. I don't know. Maybe this is preferable to these events. Like, you're just going to be able to go in here as a new account. You'll get the milestones. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this is a preferable. Um, I, I definitely prefer this to a leaderboard event. This is better than a leaderboard where they've normally been hiding away these diamonds. So if I can you know, play this game mode and get three diamonds on Gambit instead of participate in like a blind auction, um, you know, leaderboard for those diamonds, then great. Then, then this is fantastic, right? I mean, nobody should complain about that if this is replacing that style of content. If this is replacing the tower, which was really fun, then this sucks. But if it's replacing a milestone, you know, predatory blind auction milestone, great. You know, I get rewarded for having all the characters built. I get my stuff and I get a little bit of gameplay I can pretend is fun. I don't hate that. All right, that's okay. I, I, you could even say I asked for it. All right, so this is like Apocalypse, Archangel, and Dark Beast. I think that's the team. I don't think there's any other team to use. Now, this I might want to take out. Uh, Gambit's going to be the problem here. I want him out of here. All right, good. I was able to one-shot him with that Archangel. That is a seven red Archangel. I'm going to go ahead and do the special with Apocalypse. I'm going to hold that ultimate for the last node, but I definitely don't want to mess around with these Extreme X-Men. Uh, I want to get that immunity up. Um, do I want, I could clone somebody here, man. They just did not die. I'm going to put this ability block down on Sunfire as well as the splash damage on everybody else. I got to watch out for that Cyclops. He's charging up on me. Good Lord. Extreme X-Men are scary. Yeah. I don't, a new player would just be out. If you don't have apocalypse, you're just, you can't, you're not going to make it past this. This is designed for Apocalypse. Oh, my God. This team is so nuts. I'm really impressed. I did not think this team would be that good outside of raids from my initial experience on the test server, but it's really holding up well. Um, I kind of want that rogue, but I also want this Cyclops dead. I was really torn on that one. I didn't quite know what to do. Uh, God, I think I got to hit the ultimate with, I'm going to not hit the ultimate with Apocalypse. I really want it for the next node. And I'm just not scared enough of this. Like, I don't think they're going to do enough to me. I would hit the special on Apocalypse again, but I want to hold that ultimate. All right, that's fine. Apocalypse got hit with the rogue special, but he didn't really care. I think we're going to be able to heal all this up is the thing. Don't like that forge. Yeah, letting forge take three turns is probably a really bad idea. I might have to redo this. Oh, my God. I might just have to hit the ultimate from Apocalypse like right away. All right, let me quit this. I think what I got to do is come in here, hit the ultimate with Apocalypse right away, and then recover it by the end. I got to get rid of that forge because every turn that forge gets, he just gets more powerful. And if he gets three turns, he's just out of control. I think this is the team. I mean, you could throw Omega Red in here as well. That might be really cool just to hit his ultimate over and over again. And I did charge up Omega Red, but I might want him for the legendary section too. I probably don't care about Archangel for the Legendary section, quite honestly. I love deleting this Gambit. 
I think deleting the gambit was super smart. I'm sticking with that move. That was intelligent. And now I'm just going to hit the ultimate right here on Forge and just get rid of him. I just forget it. I'll charge that back up. No, Forge, you don't get to hang out. You're way too annoying, brother. I don't like it. Now I think I have much better control over this. I'm not gonna worry about. I'm now I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and keep my abilities. I'm not gonna worry about it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should be worried about it. Good lord. Maybe I should have hit that special. Now we're trying to heal. Man, this node's tough. Okay, you know what? Respect. This node is tough. This node actually sucks. Okay, fine. I'll quit. It looks like I got to do the ultimate with Apocalypse and then the special with Apocalypse. And I don't know how that what that's going to set me up for on the final note. Who's on the final note of this? What am I headed into? I'm headed into like a Dormammu and stuff. It actually looks easier. It honestly looks easier because it's older characters. I do have a Ghost Rider in there. I don't know. I think I'm going to be okay. All right. I'm going to go for this. Um... Same team. Same team. I might regret this. But this is new meta, and I'm and the next note is old meta. So I'm going to say that I need my big abilities for the new meta. And the old meta might just crumple underneath the, the pure uh, stats of these newer characters um, of Apocalypse. All right, let's get rid of this gambit again. I think I liked where this was headed. These are like, all right, I got to say, we do kind of have like puzzle-like gameplay. The gameplay is getting better the closer up to the top of the tower I get. I got to say it. I got to be fair. Um, I'm going to throw that ability block on him. I'm going to throw it on there. It's not going to kill him, but it is going to prevent that big that big damage I took from him. Okay, we're a little faster. I, I still don't want to hit the special. I'm going to try to avoid it again, and it might be foolish, but I just don't want to hit it. All right, we killed Nightcrawler. Or we just killed Nightcrawler. I'm going to hit the ultimate on Rogue with Archangel. Almost killer. Archangel's going to take the damage. That's fine. Um, I'm going to save the clone. I really want to clone Dormammu if I can on the next node. That would be actually wonderful. And now I just have a Cyclops. All right, I don't have to worry about the Cyclops. And we're charging Apocalypse back up. All right, this went pretty well. This is fine. This is going to be fine. I think that ultimate from Apocalypse is probably going to come in just at the right time on the next node. Plus, if Archangel gets any kills, he will feed him energy. So there's that. I got that going for me. All right, let's go for cell 28. This is the tough one. Let's go. Got many Darkhold. I have to say, I think the three character thing is good because if you could use five characters, I mean, I don't know what they would have to put in front of you. It would just be like, it would really be a worse version of the tower. The three characters does force you to theory craft a little better. All right. I am going to throw this right over here on Wong. Now, I could go in here and just hit Dormammu. If this doesn't work out, I will come in here. And I just need to do a little bit of damage to Dormammu. And then he will not get these revives on everybody. The thing is, I just might not even need it. Like, we might just be able to overpower this and not even overthink it like that. It might not even be necessary. Damn, I cannot. Uh, Dormammu's in stealth, so I can't clone him. So I'm going to hold it. I don't want to clone anybody else here. I really want to clone that Dormammu. I don't know if I'm going to get that ability. But that's that's who I want. That's my clone. Don't know if I'm going to get it. Took the ultimate. If Dark Beast dies, he can't clone anybody. Let's see if he... Ah, he's dead. All right. You know what? Quit this. I'm going to sack this. I'm going to do some damage to that Dormammu. I'll just throw in uh, whoever I can. And then, yeah, I could throw in some lesser mutants here. I could I could gear them up to gear tier 16. 
<laughs> that would kind of suck though. So I don't want to do that. Uh, let's throw in Nemesis. Yeah, just like I don't think these guys are the ones to go all the way. So these are this is definitely the sack attack. And I just need to make sure that I do a little bit of damage to Dormammu and pull all those revives off. If I could eat his ultimate, that'd be great. I don't know if I can get that far. We'll see what I can do. Um, if I get him just like barely alive, that would probably be great. All right, let's start off. We get the ultimate, we get the blinds. I'll take the blinds. Ooh, if I could kill White Queen, that'd be nice. But I probably really can't kill anybody since they all revive once. So really my best move is just to try to do as much damage to Dormammu as I possibly can. I'm stuck behind Taunt, but I do have the ultimate with Nemesis, which is pretty great. Uh, special with Madeline Pryor. It's like the first time I've ever done anything with Madeline Pryor. She put an ability block on Dormammu too. Look at her go. And this is unavoidable, so I can still hit that. Remove everything off of Wong. Get the sp this team's actually doing great. Why is this team such a good burn attack? What's happening? What? That's stupid. I love it. We killed White Queen once. Almost have Dormammu dead. He's ability blocked, so he might just be hanging on by a thread. That would be... He died! We killed him! Oh my god, I can't believe that happened. So I just killed Dormammu. He's not even going to be a factor when I come back in here. How great. <laughs> Why is this team doing so well? This little three-piece. It's the little three-piece that could. I'm a little worried about leaving this much Darkhold at, but I think I'm going to be okay. We're eating some abilities from them, so that's good. And I do have Apocalypse, so at the end of the day, I think I'm going to be all right. Okay. All right, well, I think this is a very successful burn attack. I'm a little worried about what I left uh, what I left in place, but I think I can knock it down. That burn attack was funny, though. What was that burn attack? That was like Magneto, um, Madeline Pryor. I didn't expect Madeline Pryor to do stuff, and Nemesis. That was a great burn attack. All right, let's get in here with Apocalypse, Archangel, and Dark Beast again. And uh, I guess if I can clone Madeline or, or Morgan Le Fay, that would be pretty awesome and should make short work of the whole thing. Wouldn't really be a problem at all. All right, let's go see what we got. You know, I like how I'm not going to be competing with anybody on this either. So I don't have to feel like an idiot for showing you how to beat it. So that's kind of cool. Just from like a content creator standpoint, I like that part of it. There's no leaderboard. There's no competition here, which I like. All right. I think Morgan Le Fay has to eat this ability block, although Ghost Rider would have been a valid choice as well. But, oh, man, yeah, she just died. And then we can clone. I, I guess I'll clone Ghost Rider because I got nothing left. I'll just take them. No, no clone? Why no clone? I don't understand it. Well, whatever. I don't get a clone. All that was for nothing, but you know what? We easily beat it. There it is. It's done. Uh, the sack attack definitely uh, set me up on that one. Was no problem clearing it after that amazing sack attack. All right. Now we have Hero Tech. Hero Tech. What do we have here? This is like Peg. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, Kestrel. So Kestrel, and uh, I don't know, Rescue and Iron Man Infinity War are pretty much a good duo. And yeah, Rescue is definitely going to keep us healthy. I think that's your team. I think it's going to go all the way through. I don't think you're going to need to do anything to that team. Kestrel, Iron Man, Infinity War, and Rescue. Yeah, Iron Man, Infinity War, and Rescue are a really nice two-piece. And then, Jesus, you just throw in Kestrel, and you're just, it's like an instant win. Unless they've really screwed up these nodes, this is going to be super easy. Okay, yeah, Kestrel's really good against Mr. Negative, so you definitely want him. You know, uh, Ghost Rider's putting out some damage. 
But the good news is, is that Kestrel is just going to suck all of that up. We're going to go ahead and use some abilities here. You are going to get caught with your pants down if you do not have a lot of shards on uh, Iron Man Infinity War. Definitely, you could have some problems there with that. Um, and if you haven't really built up your rescue enough, I've built my rescue up a lot. Like, I've got tier 18 on her. So she's going to bounce back from that. She's looking like she's in bad shape, but rescue does bounce back very quickly as long as she doesn't die, which could be a problem for you. All right, here she is. She's back. What's going to heal her the most? Uh, clear all negative effects. Yes, definitely her ultimate right here is essential, and we got to get rid of that Robbie. Robbie's just tearing us up. We don't have to worry about anybody else. Once that Ghost Rider's dead, none of these other characters do enough for me to worry about. Oh my God, that Robbie though. He is going crazy. Ghost Rider's so good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ultimate here with Iron Man. I'm not going to worry too much about going into the next node being this week. Because rescue can really bring us back very fast. I mean, this I might need to redo the whole tower if that's not correct. Okay, let's go after the second node. I did have to uh, raise my characters up to tier 17 on the test server. On my main account, I've got them all at tier 18, but that'll make my life easier when it comes to the main account. Make sure you got your characters leveled up. I honestly actually don't know if I'm going to be able to make it through the X-Men section. Like, I think the X-Men section is going to want you to have... I guess I have, like, unlimited X-Men, but I won't have a lot of the new X-Men that I might have on my real account when this comes up. That's definitely going to be a problem. All right, right now, let's see if we can deal with this, though. My God, Kestrel is strong. I'm going to hit into this defense down so that I get the pings from Kestrel, and I really just need to get the healing. I really need to get the healing. I'm going to put a, a uh, ability block on that Mighty Thor so I don't take a ton of damage from her. Um, hopefully that rescue lives long enough so that she can heal. I should be okay. All right, we're going to get rid of some characters there with uh, Kestrel. And, oh my god, I need to get rid of this Valkyrie. And I guess I'm going to have to replay this until, like, she doesn't buff everybody when she dies. And then I got to deal with a vol. Ugh, this is ugly. This is ugly. But, you know, a good Kestrel special might just put an end to a lot of my problems instantly. Yeah, all right. This is much easier now. I think we're going to be okay. As long as Vol doesn't hit their ultimate. Okay, we're all right. We're, we're making it through. We'll get rid of Beta Ray Bill. And now let's ability block this Vol. Yes, thank God. Okay, and now we get the heals from Rescue. And it looks like we're going to be set up for the next node. We're going to be A-okay. Little dicey, man. If your Pegasus isn't big, you're going to have problems on this tower in this section. You need, you need to have kept up with your Pegasus. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Final node. This, uh, this is tough. The difficulty definitely ramps up um, floor 30. Floor 30, things start getting serious. A little bit. Floor 31, superior 6. I do not love this concept at all. This is kind of scary. All right, I just got this Pegasus. I don't have a lot of characters I can sack this with because I don't have a lot of tech characters at Gear Tier 17 on the test server. On my real account, I've got more options. But yeah, this is definitely going to uh, extract some gear from you to get these three diamonds on Gambit for sure if you're not ready for this stuff. All right, you just want to get rid of Green Goblin. Um, I am going to special... Right over here on the right. Oh, my God. Well, thankfully, Kestrel just melts faces. Ooh, Green Goblin Ultimate. Okay, we took it like a champ, but now we have Trauma. Good God. 
Yeah, I don't know what to do about that. You you got to you got to kill that green goblin. Or sack the room, which I can't do. Maybe I just need a lucky crit with Kestrel so the Green Goblin dies. Like, I just got to reload this until Green Goblin dies. That's all I can think of. I have no other characters I can send into this on the test server, so I might get stuck here on the test server. And if I do, then look forward to the video that I release. I assume on my main account, I will beat this tower. But uh, on the test server here, I might be walled here just from lack of gear. If I can't get like a lucky shot on this uh, green goblin or do something about that. I'm going to go right down the middle this time. I'm going to aim at him. I don't know if that's going to help. Couldn't get him. Couldn't get him. Can't get him. All right. Yeah. I don't know. Um, so there it is. <laughs> There's my first impressions of this. It's going to go differently on the main account. Um, maybe you need to have your ultimate with Kestrel for there. Uh, here's a look at those requirements again. And yeah, make sure. So it's going to get hard around around uh, a Cell 30. Cell 30 is going to get rough. And you're going to want to have a lot of hero tech characters at gear tier 17 because you might need to sack Cell 31. And if you don't have the characters leveled up, you're going to get stuck there. Um, X-Men is going to be a big problem if you don't have the new X-Men at gear tier 17. Uh, if you only have old X-Men at gear tier 17, you could run into issues there. Let's go ahead and have a look at what we're going to be fighting. Um, so self 32, pretty easy comp. Self 33, everybody has diamonds. That could be ugly if you don't have the new X-Men. And then you have literally have an apocalypse on floor 34. So... I think this tower is really designed with the new X-Men in mind. If you only have old X-Men, you're, you're going to have some problems there. Uh, charging up Cyclops would probably help early on. And uh, charging up Rogue would be a really good idea. I mean, I think I think Rogue is going to handle uh, Cell 34 pretty well as well. But uh, definitely the new Extreme X-Men is going to be uh, a big deal there. The Legendary section should be fine as long as you have the new legendary characters um i might have messed up burning green goblin early on though you might want to use him here you might want to have that ultimate charged up uh 37 looks to be kind of lo looks a little scary there and then villain bio once again if you don't have super scroll give up you're not going to beat this Charge them up on the first node so you can blow everybody up. Make sure I think as long as you're going into these cells with a fully charged super scroll, you should just be able to blow them up right away with super scroll and kind of deal with this. Uh, cell 40 looks super tough. All right, I'll definitely put out more videos on this when it when it hits the game proper. But here's your first look. Hopefully you got some good information for this. Good luck everybody. A lot of the good videos on this channel, so make sure you check them out. And Grave Diggers. Keep digging. Stop what you're doing, baby, and follow Mr. Hargrave from Parks Unknown, if you will, baby. I've seen the face. Yeah, Mark, you're in one half of party party, say what up to the grave diggers, and keep doing your thing. On my knees, embrace all the horrible things that took her away. Watch another video or be pissed.